Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Sunday, March 18th, 2018. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as they are already living by all the rules given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us, including the rule to contribute more to completing the search for truth assignments given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us, then we are taking or using or borrowing in search for truth resources. Periodically in this work, the energy gets really thick and stuck. It's like trying to walk through clay. And we have that experience of sentience going on right now. So in an effort to get the energy unstuck and moving forward again, we are using the miraculous bringers of messages known as lives and bodies. As always, our foundational intention is to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions, to create worlds that work in all dimensions and for all categories of sentience that live inside those dimensions. And with that, the formally videoed, and somebody's asking why we would do such a thing, and yeah, we would are. do such a thing because that's what our soul contracts commit us to doing, and that we know that these experiences of sentience will one day end, and that we will be held accountable for our soul plans, as are we all. That's true. We're not going to be the one exception in all of creation. That's just unlikely. We're going with the odds that we will be held accountable for our soul plans. And we're not denying that, and that's why we're working on that big project. That's why do true. you ask? With that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Restating the intention to heal the root causes of this pattern of falling face down on the life path uh, repeatedly and usually right after we straighten back up again we fall back down seeking to heal the root causes of that pattern and whatever it represents so as to align the search for truth community with its soul plan and to re-establish search for truth space what now to heal the root causes of the falling down on the life path? Starting to feel presences up higher uh, who feel like they know that they are the reason that we've been falling face down on the life path and uh, they know that the thing they're doing is causing that but they don't want to change. You know what it kind of feels like? Mm. Is oil companies um, mm. who, I know how to get oil out, I know how to pump oil, and we've been doing it for a long time, and uh, I would rather just keep doing that instead of adjusting to the reality of um, limited resources and climate change and environmental danger, destruction. environmental destruction. Uh, I'd rather just keep doing what we've always done, even though I know it's terrible. And it's coming to an end. And it's coming to an end. Then adjust the way I'm thinking about my job, or the way I'm defining the mm -hmm. work that I do. And now they're getting kind of grumpy because they can hear us talking about it, and they don't like that we're saying it out loud, but they can also feel that it's true. Well, clearly they aren't the people to be dealing with. No, that's true. Go higher. Let's stretch up higher, impulsing the upward flow of electrons up the back, punching up through even more dimensions, holding up the symptom, restating the intention to heal the root causes of the pattern of falling face down on the life path uh, repeatedly, and right after we straighten back up on the life path. And then also the symptom of the non-workability in the thumbs and also the symptom of the bad tasting water. And we're here to heal the root causes of those symptoms and whatever they represent so as to re-establish search for truth space. 
Now I'm starting to see who might be the supervisors of that last group of people. Mm -hmm. So we can show them what the presences they were supposed to be supervising have been doing, whatever it is. It's causing a lot of problems down here in the smaller dimensions and also causing the search for truth community to fall face down on the life path, which makes it really hard to to do the assignments. So that's what's been going on down there with those presences that you've been supervising, or supposed to be supervising. It's not that it's hard to do the assignments, it's that this is a message for someone. This is a message for someone. It's not that it's hard to do the assignments. We've got no problems, actually. Here, everything is copacetic. However, our job is to deliver messages. We have a message of falling face downward on their life path. For whom is the message? For whom is the message? Asking to be shown, for whom is the message of falling face down on the life path? For whom is the message? Don't waste time with these people. They don't want to do anything. This whole time zone, everybody we can reach, they're just frozen. Nobody wants to change. That's true. Nobody wants to change. This is... Oh, somebody here... Uh, this must be Pan. Yeah. I'm so frustrated with this. It's like, I've, I feel quite done with these people. Nobody wants to change. This time zone is complete. We can go in the past and see if they can loosen up. That would be my recommendation. All right, let's go for that. Anybody who'd like to go back into the past? I think I feel hands raising in a variety of sizes, some of them really small and some of them bigger. These messages need to be delivered. Yeah. No, There's no openness to hearing them now. The people to whom they're being delivered now don't want to hear them, which is okay. It's okay. But take them, find people who, souls, who wish to, are willing to do something, anything. You don't have to do the entire job yourself, you just have to get the messages on their way. Here, take this message to the people. Like, those are Ra's. Yeah. Take the message to the Ra's. And you can just list off names. To, who wants to deliver messages to Ra's? Who wants to deliver messages to the wizard? Who wants to deliver messages to Ulysses? Who wants to deliver messages to just anybody you can think of? Oh, who that's wants really to good. Deliver? into the past, where there, and you can say, I am the big person from the future, and oh, I and know, it's very which cool. is true. That's true. And the situation is turning out badly, and part of it is because of this, and because you didn't do this. Do you want to do it? So there's a job that needs doing to go back into the past and bring these messages with you to Ra, back in the past, and when you go back into the past, you can let them know that you're a presence from the future, which is a very cool presence to be, and um, so you have a reasonably good perspective on what happens since you come from the future, and then you can deliver those messages to Ra, and in such a way both you will um, be someone of importance back then in the past just because you came from the future and also you'll be able to work with Ra back then which is a really good thing to do now is there anybody who would like that job who would like to bring the messages back into the past so those presences who would like to bring those messages back to Ra you can go on into the past and is there anybody who would like to bring these messages to the wizard in the past? There, I feel hands. You can go into the past. Here we go. Is there anybody who would like to bring these messages to Isis in the past? Well, there, I feel some sad presences. Okay, you can go into the past. There you go. Getting the flow going. Is there anybody who would like to bring these messages to Ulysses in the past? And here are the messages. It's the non-workable thumb, and the falling face down on the life path, and the bad tasting water. Is there anybody who would like to go back into the past and bring these messages to Ulysses? 
There you go. And go and tell them that you come from the future. Tell them that you come from the future. Is there anybody who would like to go into the past now to bring the message to Saul of the suddenly bad tasting water and the non workable thumbs? and the falling face down on the life path. Is there anybody who would like to bring the messages to Saul in the past? There we go, there's some people. Is there anybody who would like to go back into the past and bring the messages to Black Wolf in the past? Is there anybody who would like to go back into the past and bring the messages to Lady Edith in the past? I think there are some people. Okay, here are the messages, and now you can go back into the past, really go back into the past. I start to deliver some to Nature Realm's presences other than Pan, all the Nature Realm's presences who are just standing back. Oh, is there anybody who would like to deliver these messages to the Nature Realm's presences in the past? How about to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Is there anybody who would like to deliver the messages to those leaders? Oh, there we go. There are actually a lot of presences who would like to go back in the past and do that. Okay, there you go. Go on back. Asking these other presences, who would you like to have these messages? Someone says, I'd like to bring them to Asha. Okay, everybody who'd like to bring the messages to Asha back in the past, here they are, here are the messages. You can bring them back. Thank you. There they go. Okay, who else? Everybody else, who do you want to bring the messages back to in the past? Somebody says, if someone very small says, I'd like to bring them back to Luce, am I allowed to do that? If you go far enough back. If you go far enough back, you, you can. Okay, now that person is going into the past and carrying the messages like a backpack on their back. Okay, who else? I feel there are people who want to go back into the past. Who do you want to bring the messages to? Some people say Leo. They'd like to bring them back to Leo. That's really good. Just go through the door to the past. Anybody else? Who else? Who do you want to bring them back to? Sirius. Sirius. Okay, you can go back into the past. Here are the messages. Go on ahead and carry them with you. There we go. What about you over there? Who would you like to bring the messages back to? Yeah, you in the back. Who would you like to bring the messages into the past for? Thank you. Ratio. That's really good. Here are the messages. You can carry them into the past. There you go. Wow. That's a surprisingly big group for Horatio. Carrying the messages like backpacks on their backs. Okay, anybody else? Okay, I see a group over there. Who would you like to bring the messages back to? Rupert. Rupert. Awesome! You can do that. And now the remaining people in the room who have showed up to carry messages back in the past feel like the people they want to bring the messages to are people whose names I, I don't know. Um, but I think that that's okay, and you can bring them the messages too. That feels like a valid thing to do. Go on ahead into the past and let them know that you came from the future. And take these messages with you. Here they are. The messages of the suddenly bad tasting water and the non workability and the pain and the thumbs, and also of um, the pattern of falling face down on the life path really r repeatedly and shortly after we straight back up again. You can take all these messages back into the past. Now it feels like the room is starting to empty out. Mm -hmm. There we go. What now to heal the root causes of the pattern of falling face down on the life path and of the suddenly bad tasting water and of the non workability and pain in the thumbs? How to heal the root causes of these symptoms and whatever they represent so as to create search for truth space, to re establish search for truth space. Drawing the focus down to the life path, finding the life path. 
moving the life path under the feet and overcompensating a little bit so that when the life path bounces back over, when the feet bounce back over, we're less likely to bounce off. Now raking the obstacles on the life path, raking the obstacles right into the immediate past, into just before finding the life path, raking the obstacles into the immediate past, <laughs> to just before finding the life path, and right away crunching and juicing and burning those obstacles, and using that burn to clear the pillar up even higher. Now it's trying to straighten back up on the life path, and it feels again like we're uh, face down on the life path, so we're just going to complete the turn using the momentum that pushed us face down and flip all the way around to stand up again. Ooh, oh, there's dizziness in the head. Lifting the head up, straightening the spine, lifting the head up. Feeling like it's really hard to stand up straight and there's still a pulling feeling down, face down. Almost feels like there are ropes pulling us down. So asking up, what are these ropes that seem to be pulling us down, face down on the life path? What are these ropes? And what are we supposed to do about them? Who is on the other end of the ropes? What it looks like is the ropes are attached to pulleys down below, and then on the other end of the pulley, the rope goes way up high, as if someone much higher than us is pulling on the rope that pulls us down, while making it look while like making it's, it look like it's below. coming from below. Can we just shine the spotlight like a big magnifying glass on that pulley? Yeah. Down there, just kind of shine the light on it. Usually those things burst into flames when you shine the light on them. Shining the light on the big pulley down below. There we go. It feels like the pulley is melting or burning under the light. Mm -hmm. And now there's a kind of twanging sound in the rope and straightening it up. And it feels like it hit somebody in the face up there who was holding on to it. Mm -hmm. Now we're straightening up again, much better on the life path. Mm -hmm. Standing up Get much better. Who did that? Who did that? And live stream up. Getting the identification of whoever it was up there that was holding the rope. And live streaming that identification up to the supervising presences in the dimensions above them. Whoever it is above them who's responsible for them, and maybe whoever's responsible for whoever is responsible for them. Life streaming it up way up higher. Feeling the feeling of the identification going up. And I think I've got to get it up to people higher mm -hmm. because the people who it's getting to, they're not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. But we have the identification now, and so we can just keep sending it up higher and pulsing the electrons underneath it, pulsing that flow of child souls up underneath it. Or into the past. That's true. It feels like the identification of whoever was holding the rope just hit somebody really up high, so it's hard to see who it hit. Mm -hmm. um, but they feel not lazy, mm -hmm. and not angry. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to try and straighten up again so we're standing straight up on the life path and not falling down. Mm -hmm. Restating the intention to heal the root causes of the pain and the non-workability in the thumbs and the suddenly bad tasting water and also just still including the falling face down on the life path 
with the intention to heal the root causes of those symptoms and whatever they represent, so as to re-establish search for a true space, and asking that presence way up high who caught the identification, asking what we're supposed to do now to heal the root causes of those symptoms. Things are happening in the thumbs. Something's oh, happening. Oh, good. Okay, then that makes sense. What it felt like was there were presences who want to bring the messages back into the past again, mm-hmm. and a lot of them felt like they are smaller presences mm-hmm. in the thumbs or who have lived in the thumbs, mm-hmm. maybe in the smaller subatomic of the thumbs. Mm-hmm. And now they've heard about what bigger presences have been doing, carrying the messages back into the past, and it mm-hmm. feels like those smaller presences in the thumbs would also like to carry the messages back into the past. Mm-hmm. Which is absolutely great. I'm starting to send these presences back into the past. There are a lot of presences coming out of the thumbs. It feels like whole villages, whole groups of people mm-hmm. coming out of the thumbs. And there are presences who are coming through the thumbs who are especially interested in the water messages, the suddenly bad tasting water. Mm-hmm. And they're asking, is it okay if we come through the thumbs, but we really focus more on that message? Mm-hmm. And I think that's absolutely okay. And looking way up and asking up, what now? To heal the root causes of the suddenly bad tasting water, and the non-workability and pain in the thumbs, and the pattern of falling face down on the life path and whatever those symptoms represent, so as to re-establish search for true space. What now? And now starting to wrap the work, putting a seal on the work that's been done today. Wrapping it all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Sliding up. Sliding up. Intending to get up to that supervisor, the presence that took the identification of the rope puller. Sending the work up. And all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as they're already living by the many rules already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us. And those rules include responding to the many messages that are delivered here. This is just a bounce point, a place that many presences and many dimensions use as a place to run experiments. And when physical bodies have symptoms, we should observe the symptoms and attempt to discern the message. And this body has been accumulating a lovely pattern of symptoms. So in an effort to discern the message and who the message is for and to deliver the message, we are going to have a session of angelically guided multidimensional energy healing for sole purpose, also known as the Lightworkers Healing Method. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Merging in, drawing the focus to the intersection of the heart chakra and that big vertical pillar of the energy body. Letting a critical mass of that energy start to build at that intersection point until it pops creating a bubble around all of us and expanding that bubble all the way around the entire farm, around everywhere that the true subject of the healing session lives and works, everywhere the Lynn Life Collective lives and works. Oh, there we go. And claiming the intention that the interior of the bubble be sacred, safe, private healing, learning, growing space. 
And as queer only be beings, we invite and are welcome to join us inside the bubble, and all others who break in are breaking divine law, and bigger eyes than ours are watching them. Now reaching all the way up through the vertical pillar of the energy body and calling up to the planetary consciousness souls for ground zero planet Earth. I think I can see them. Merging the energy bodies together more deeply and asking those planetary consciousness souls for their guidance and support and protection during the process today. Okay, and it feels like both of the souls who are referred to as planetary consciousness souls are up there. If I look to the right, I can see that soul who looks like the Angela Merkel higher soul, and up there she kind of looks like the body of Angela Merkel with kind of blondish hair. And then I also see the wizard who's the long-standing planetary consciousness for Ground Zero Planet Earth, and he looks very worried. He does. He looks so concerned. Hand-wringing. Hand-wringing. And he's not generally a hand-wringing kind at all. of person, but I see the wringing of the hands. Mm -hmm. I think he thought this would go better with Angela in the job. Yeah, I think he really thought it was going to go better with Angela Merkel in the job. I think he didn't expect to be getting so many kind of like phone calls. Right. From people saying it's not going well, this isn't going well, things are getting really worse. And Angela Merkel has that look on her face, kind of like I told you this. I told you this was going to happen. Reaching up to those two planetary consciousness souls, really reaching up and restating the intention because we have a number of symptoms on the table. We have the symptom, oh, in the toes, the toes of the physical body. There's an old injury flaring in the toes of the physical body, a weakness and a numbness in the toes. And also, oh, right there, the eye started twitching. And also, we have this issue of a spider bite on one of the toes that's been there now for a few months. And so the toe is swollen and it's sore. And then we move up to the feet. And we have issues in the feet. We have an old injury in the feet of the Lynn Life Collective where they're numb. The left foot. The, left the ball foot. of the left foot. The ball of the left foot is numb. And all of those toe things are on the left foot. That's true. Meanwhile, one of the chickens, one of the hens in the flock of chickens on this farm also has foot problems. She has uh, really painful feet and swollen feet, so, so it's almost impossible for her to walk. It's disabling. It's disabling. She's a special needs chicken. Yeah, that's true. And then we move up to the ankle symptoms where we have a mysterious rash on the right side of both ankles of the Lynn Life Collective. And meanwhile, the goose of this farm is starting to limp or has been limping also, so her legs are also having problems. And then when we come up from the ankles, the Lynn Life Collective has had leg cramps the last two nights. Which means it's time to deal with whatever this is. That's true. And our intention today... And those are in the left leg also. Oh, yeah. That's important. So the left leg cramps, mysterious rash on the right side of both ankles, injury in the left foot, and injuries in the left foot toes. Yes. That's significant. And our intention today is to heal the root causes of those symptoms, the actual root causes of those symptoms, and whatever they represent, in such a way as to create worlds that work for 
all categories of sentience inside all dimensions, I think is the actual intention that we're actually going for. Which isn't normally how it works in healing sessions, but this is not a normal healing session. I don't feel anybody arguing about that upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have this great big pile of symptoms of leg, foot, toe, ankle, leg problems. Is there anything else on the list? Oh, how were the thumbs? The thumbs... The thumbs are now working just fine. Both of them are working fine. Just they, fine. They're them. just fine. Everything is perfect with the thumbs right now. Thank you for asking. Okay. And just to restate for the presences upstairs that the thumbs had been a big message bringer for a long time, maybe a year, maybe over a year. Oh, now they're better. For the past month or so. That's true. And now these are the messages. Yes. I'm really intending to ask those two planetary consciousness souls, the wizard and that higher soul of Angela Merkel. They want to know why you're bothering them with this. Oh, I have an idea why you're the ones to talk to about this. Because when we actually merge in and we feel these symptoms, we can tell they're a message. It's not. It's obviously not about the Lin Life Collective's body, and then we can feel that it's about something a lot bigger. And then it starts to feel like what these symptoms are actually pointing to is a disharmony, a not working uh, situation inside the body of planet Earth. And How can that be? That's what they're saying. That is what they're saying. How can that be? Well, one way that that could be true is that the Lin Life Collective body, a long time ago, maybe 15 years ago, someone says 20 years ago, was donated to the effort of showing messages for much, much larger collectives, which includes the much larger collective of the body of planet Earth, and so for a long, long time, when messages come up through that particular body, this one on the table, it's about something much bigger. And when I try to say that the messages are for something bigger than planet Earth, it feels like I'm heading in the wrong direction, which would then lead us to believe that it's about the body of planet Earth, since the two of you are the souls of planet Earth, and it doesn't feel like it's about you. Well, can it be about something smaller than planet Earth? It's a reasonable question. Let's start to feel something smaller than planet Earth. We can start to feel down to the cellular... It starts to feel really wrong when we start to feel down into the cellular levels. That feeling of when you're heading in the wrong direction. Maybe a slice of planet Earth. Like a dimension. Like a dimension of planet Earth. Well, that could be true. It could be just for the ground zero planet Earth planetary dimension combo pack. Could be. That could be true because that doesn't immediately feel wrong. So maybe that's what it is about. It's about the combination of ground zero dimension and planet Earth planet and the body of that combination. So the density of ground zero and the location of planet Earth, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Merging the energy bodies together more deeply, pulsing the upward rising Earth energy up. And when we really merge into that feeling, we start to feel kind of a scared, resistant feeling, like somebody who just doesn't want to do something and maybe in a confused way, if I haven't figured out why it would be a good idea to do something and I don't want to do it because I don't understand it and I don't want to do the work of understanding it and so now I'm just uh, a problem to myself. Starts to feel like the feeling, and I think this has got to be the feeling of that combo of ground zero, planet Earth, the actual planet. 
you know what this starts to feel like? This starts to feel like the feeling that we get sometimes when we're waiting for somebody else to solve the big problems. And not just the big problems that directly affect us, but all the big problems that we're aware of. And it's possible what this feeling is, is that the ground zero planet Earth body has decided that someone else has got to solve her big problem. Yes, yes, somebody else. Yeah, and I, I ground zero planet Earth, almost don't f- care who the other person is. Not at all. I'd kind of like it to be the souls of the wizard and Angela Merkel, and maybe a little bit I feel like they owe me. Or I deserve that. And so it's possible, and I'm not saying this is what the feeling is, but sometimes when I feel this feeling, it's when the body is either consciously or subconsciously sabotaging the work that it's supposed to do, and that the soul is saying, now it's time to do... Foot dragging. Yes. It's foot dragging. Yes which would make sense because they're foot symptoms, foot and leg symptoms. Mm -hmm. So that's starting to make sense. And when I start to run energy up the feet just to kind of feel out what's going on, that's what it feels like. Like I, ground zero planet Earth, am dragging my feet almost in a way of where I can kind of bury them in the ground or in the sand. I think I can. Yes, that's my intention, is how I should have said that. That's my big hope, which doesn't actually feel like a helpful thing to do. It feels like a mistake. So what's the error? Obviously there's the error of pretending someone else is going to solve the big problems, there's also a kind of deeper personal error and it could honestly just be I don't want to do what I'm supposed to do and you can't make me and there's a whiny tone to it like yeah how can you possibly ask me to do this yes that kind of tone yes coupled with that kind of um like swish of a cape of dodging responsibility yes I don't intend to do what I'm supposed to do, and I'm also upset and with grumpy, you for asking. Grumpy. Yes. And this is a problem. But meanwhile, I see fires and bad things happening. Yeah, and the feeling of everything good collapsing, yes. having already collapsed, and is now kind of rotting in piles around the place. So asking up to those consciousness souls, those planetary consciousness souls, what do we do now to heal the root causes of these symptoms? Because we have all these symptoms in the toes, the feet, the ankles, the legs, and it's all wrapped up in this feeling of foot dragging that seems to be ground zero planet Earth herself. And someone, it must be the wizard, is talking and he's saying how She's right, the planet is, that you can't actually get someone to do something they don't want to do. And the best thing you can do is to help them see how it's a good idea to do what they're supposed to do, but you've got to make it seem like it's their idea. You can't just tell them and expect them to go along with it, especially if they have the habit of resisting going along with what they're supposed to do. And so you've got to help them come to the conclusion on their own that doing what they're supposed to do is a really good idea. And the wizard is talking, and now he's starting to feel better also, or I'm wrong. And he's talking about how sometimes running experiments is the thing to do. And he's talking about Ra, and how many aspects of the Ra soul, when they get an idea in their head, They aren't going to let go of it until you let them run an experiment, and they're good experimenters, and they'll run it very well and very thoroughly, and at the end of the experiment, either their point is proven or it's not proven, but generally they're then willing to uh, move on from the idea if it's proven to not work, or continue on with the idea if it's proven to work. So maybe here's the thing to do, and we can really merge in 
so the planet can feel that we're all here and that those planetary consciousness souls actually really care about her a whole lot, you know? And people talk about guardian angels all the time, but until we actually look up and see them for ourselves, it's kind of hard to get a grip on how real they are. They still kind of feel theoretical. And so maybe, because we have this great big pillar of the Lin Life Collective, it's a very useful resource. And so maybe if Ground Zero Planet Earth can look up through this big pillar that we're all merging into, and see those two souls, the planetary consciousness souls, the wizard, I see him on the left, and that soul that's been working through Angela Merkel, who I see on the right, maybe she can start to feel that they really care about her, and they're trying to help her out. She kind of just wants to go up. Yeah, she does kind of just want to go up. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a bad thing. Okay. Asking up, asking up, is that a good thing to do? They seem to think it's the best thing to do because she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to do it. And this, okay. yeah, let it go up. Let's go up. And we can power her up, you know. We can do something to help. Here you go. If you want to go up, let's point straight up to that room where the planetary consciousness souls are. There we go. And you can go straight up to them. There we go, and it really feels like planet Earth just squeezes like a bulb syringe, and then it she just shoots up that big spirit or presence or soul or whatever word you like to use for it for ground zero planet Earth just squeezes up and out. I'm moving her up so it doesn't get stuck in all the astral currents doesn't get tangled. About halfway up she starts to think that maybe it's a bad idea to have left and now she shouldn't have left. So let's swish all of us in the pillar to our right places. There we go. And then if she's supposed to come back in, she can come back in. There we go. Now it feels like she just shoots all the way up and out. All the way up and out, all of us to our right places, merging the energy bodies together more deeply, all throughout in this really big pillar, this really big energy body. And let's swish all of us to our right places. It's more energy flow now. Yeah, that's true. Like a clog is out. That's what that feels like, like a big clog mm -hmm. has just come shooting out of the energy body. Mm -hmm. And now someone is drawing the focus to the hen uh, who goes by the name Red and how her feet have this feeling, her swollen feet, her problem feet, have this feeling of just needing to swoosh the energy downward out of them. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if we merge in better for all of us who these messages are about and we swish mm -hmm. all of us to our right places, if that will be helpful. Mm -hmm. There we go. And now there's an emptying out feeling toward the base of the pillar mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Here as well. It feels much less clogged right mm -hmm. now. It does. I can start to feel the feeling in that higher dimension room where the planetary consciousness souls are, and now that soul who had been down here in the Ground Zero Planet Earth combination who wanted to go up and went up, she's kind of landed in that room. Mm -hmm. And those consciousness souls are looking at her like, this is so much worse than we thought. Mm -hmm. You look horrible. You look terrible. Mm -hmm. You look awful. Like you look very, very sick mm -hmm. and in bad shape. It's like chickens who come out of factory farms. That's what that soul mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm. Like, you're almost not alive. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what to think about that. They're checking their books. That's the feeling. It's like, how could this be? Do they know about chemical fracking and things like that? That's Maybe they what don't I think know we about talk it. About. Is that one willing to walk through it? Because that one read about it more than this one did. All we know is that fracking it can be done with physics or with chemistry. That's true. With physics, they just kind of 
power blast rocks to burst the rocks to bits so that they can extract oil hidden in the rock. Yes, that's true. And with chemical fracking, they inject the rocks with chemicals that literally liquefy the rock, like rot the rock. Yeah, that's true. And it sounds like a an evil joke, but they're really doing it. I could be wrong about this, but now it feels like the feeling in that room where the planetary consciousness souls are now has that same feeling that we felt when we first merged in with Ground Zero Planet Earth, that feeling of, I want someone else to solve the big problems. It's not looking good for that. No, it's not. Let's reach higher. There's always a higher version of the same soul stream. These people aren't better. No, they're not better, and now it's quiet. Maybe you let go of them and see if there's anybody else who has an idea. Okay. All right, is there anybody else up there who has an idea about what to do to heal the root causes of these problems in the toes? and the feet, and the ankles, and the legs, not just for the body of the Lin Life Collective, but the messages are also appearing in the bodies of a hen who's been very willing to show messages on a large scale, and a goose who is also, also willing, very to, show willing to show messages on a large scale. Does anybody mm-hmm. else have any ideas? about what we can do to heal the root causes of these problems and whatever they represent. And maybe the big point is about messages. And maybe these are just messages that I'm supposed to deliver up to you, fine folks. We can try that. Here we go. Let's see if we can just send the messages of these problems up to those presences up there, because there are a lot of presences who are listening and not talking. Mm, I see them. And some of them in a kind of popcorn eater way, and some of them also in that way of, oh God, do you think they can see us? Yes, those are the ones I'm seeing. And I think maybe the messages are for you. Maybe. Maybe if we just start to send up the messages, and we can send them up by vibration. Starting to send them up out of the toes, and out of the feet out of the ankles and out of the legs and they all feel like different facets of important information that's supposed to come through to you. And we notice how when we delivered these messages to a soul that was down here on ground zero planet earth, her reaction was to want to go up, up there to where you are. So maybe these would be helpful for you. And send these messages up. And stretch longer and send the messages up. Someone in that higher dimension is talking about the moment that happened in this healing session where the planetary consciousness souls were trying to get that soul of ground zero planet Earth, the soul that was really in here, to look up. And they were talking about how you can't really tell that it's real, that there are big presences up there who have power over us until you actually look up Mm -hmm. and see them for yourselves. And we don't mean look up with your physical eyes, look up with your second sight, like you have eyes on the top of your head, and then ask them to wave, and you can see them waving, and then all of a sudden you can know it's real if you actually care about what, what is true, because you see them waving, and then it's like if you were walking down the street and one of your neighbors waved at you, it, you would sound so silly if you said that the neighbor didn't exist because he just waved at you. Mm-hmm. And now the guardian angels are talking about how what that soul, one of the things that soul was showing us, is the prevailing attitude or the prevailing mindset of presences here on ground zero planet earth and it's not just uh, humans or dogs or other domesticated presences it's also um, plants and insects and uh, mountaintops mountaintops all included there's this story that everyone seems to be telling each other and themselves 
that God is a scam and that higher powers aren't real and sometimes it's like they repeat it to themselves quietly to calm themselves down like it's okay that maybe I did bad things because there's no God there's no God there's no God and everyone knows there's no God and it's okay and we all agree that there's no God and we're not going to talk about it and they reach out and they hold each other's hands yeah and sometimes say, even in church yes it's okay there's no real God we're going to say these things but it's not real Right. You can tell that people in churches don't believe it. All you have to do is put the topic of death on the table That's and watch true. them freak out. They, they out. scurry like ants That's true. from the topic of death. Like that minister That's this who past they're talking year who was about. putting his 86-year-old father on life support. He's, he's 86. Let him die. Stop torturing yeah. him. That's what they're talking mm -hmm. about. And now they're talking about that whole theory that God is a scam and the mm -hmm. widely told story that God is a scam mm -hmm. and how even that big soul who was so big that she was all the way through the ground zero planet Earth combination had that same thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what? Now what do we do? Maybe we just deliver up that message. And pull it up out of here. That Just feels pull it really up out good. Of here. Merge in and grab a hold of it. Like get reached down through it, get the bottom of it, oh, and that's pull really it up. Good. Turn it inside out. You know like how you do that? Like a big sock. Like a big sock. Reach all the way to the bottom, and the bottom is way down there. All the way down to the very bottom, and we can grab the bottom of it. And it feels sad and small and not good sick maybe we can start to pull it up just pulling it inside out like pulling a really long tube inside out it feels like the threads of it are pulling their way out of reality out of the ground zero planet earth particular intersection of reality and we can hand it up way up through all those parts of the tunnel that go through those presences who just want to eat popcorn. And we can go up to those presences way up there who care about what's true, who are interested in what's really true, what's really going on. And we can give this message up to them. Hand the big thread of that attitude up to them. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe ask them if they have enough data. Do you have enough data? And would you declare this particular experiment complete with all that data? Now it's just really quiet. Okay. Maybe we wrap. I think so also. Wrapping. Putting a seal on the work that's been done today, sealing it all the way up, because it's proof of something. Mm -hmm. It's consistent. You can yeah, feel it. True. It's consistent with something. With something. And it feels at least Calming. kind of calm. Yes, it's calm. That it's consistent. That it's consistent. Now sighting up through that big tunnel and let's try to get up to the supervisors of that level that we submitted all that information to just a moment ago. And sending the work up to them. And powering it up behind it. And there you go. There you go.